Hey guys, it's Lucid. Um, I kind of like recording in this lighting for certain messages just because I want the focus to be less about anything visual and more just about what I'm saying. And so today I just wanted to talk about um, a message that I've learned really hard this year and maybe you guys can learn something from my experience. And that is that you can't please everybody. And some people are good about not really worrying about pleasing other people and they can just, you know, focus on what they need for their life and their wants and their goals and it doesn't really come into play how anyone else is going to think about it or feel about it. But for most of my life, I've tried to please everybody. I've been called a people pleaser a lot in my life. Or, um, and it didn't used to necessarily be a negative thing, especially when you're younger. But as you get older and you start developing different relationships with people, that people pleasing attitude can become very detrimental. And... I don't want to like make most of these like, you know, I don't need you to see anything, just listen videos about relationships, but like I said, I don't have a, like a lot of friendships and a lot of relationships that I learned from. I just have a couple. And it's been hard um, as I'm making these changes in my life and I'm having to close old chapters and let people go. They're not really wanting to let me go. They're, you know, they're wanting to hold on and continue on a path that I'm no longer on and I really am starting it really feels like I'm like starting to live my own life for like the first time and I really am having to like cut off like it's not even like just like slowly like closing the door I'm literally having to cut people off that I don't feel fit in with that path where I'm going down now and because I am typically a people pleaser, because I care so much about what other people think or hurting other people's feelings or caring more about how other people feel first, typically when I try to cut these cords or end certain things moving on to the next stage of my life and people don't want those things to close, in my typical personality I would usually like be like, maybe I'm being mean, maybe I'm being harsh, maybe I'm being too cold, maybe I don't really need to do that, I'm just overreacting, this and this and that. And so typically those patterns would continue themselves and it didn't really feel like reciprocal relationships at that point. It felt like I was just an energy source for people and they were plugging in to take from my energy. But I wasn't getting anything out of those those relationships anymore because I had already felt personally that it was no longer on my path. And so out of being nice and trying to people please... I, you know, kept those relationships going even though I knew I didn't really resonate with them anymore because I didn't want to hurt the other person's feelings, I didn't want to feel bad, or I was avoiding confrontation. This time around, I don't know if you guys watched that Wonder Girl video that I posted on my spiritual playlist, but she talked about how this year marks the end of, like, patterns that people have been living for 37 years. So even if you're not 37, basically, the whole life you've lived now, now that Saturn has gone direct now that these shifts are happening planetarily it's like you're living a whole new life you're ending patterns that you may have kept for years so for me this time around now that I'm trying to start a new path in my life and I'm doing more of these videos and I'm trying to kinda of go more into things that I'm interested in when I feel those people trying to continue those um, ties or continue down a path and I've decided you know not to do so I can't people please this time. I can't please everyone this time because by choosing the path that I'm going down now, if I chose to please other people, I wouldn't go down it, basically. If I chose to really do what other people wanted me to do, I would stay here. I wouldn't move. I would stay in a job I didn't like. I would be doing things I didn't want to. I would be living for other people again, and I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that this time. And... This is something that makes me, I'm, I feel like a bitch when I'm doing it, and I feel like a bad person when I'm like not responding to people, not answering people, not feeding into energy. But if I've, I've already explained myself, and I've already like expressed like where I feel like my path needs to go and what is on it, then in the ways that I've respected other people and wanted to be there for other people and support them on their journey, I just have to wait and see if they'll be actually supportive of me on my own. And maybe they will and maybe they won't, but that can't be something that I'm worried about anymore. I have to worry about pleasing me. And that may sound selfish, and it sounds selfish when I'm saying it, but for people who are empathic, 
that is exactly what you have to do to balance out those scales because for so long you were constantly putting other people's needs above your own and trying to please other people that your needs were way down here. You weren't even thinking about your needs just like I was. So in order to counteract that energy you really do have to put yourself first. You really have to be able to do a lot of things that aren't going to feel comfortable, that are going to make you feel like you're a bad person and people are going to attack you for it. People are going to try and latch on. People are going to not understand because they're not used to that. It's a new pattern and they don't want that new pattern. That new pattern doesn't work for them, but you have to do what works for you. You really cannot please everyone. Trust me, I know. I've lived my whole life trying to make everyone happy, make everyone have a good experience when they're around me, live for other people, do what other people wanted to do because I wanted them to be happy, even if it was at my own expense. And a lot of times I do gain my happiness from other people being happy or other people feeling good. I like to see other people happy. I like to help other people grow. I like to help other people see that they are special or that they have talents. Like I like to nourish other people, but I have to nourish myself. And you have to nourish yourself too. If you're someone that resonates with this message and you feel the same way, like you're always pleasing other people or you always feel like you're other, always putting other people first or you have to like change the things that you like or want to do to do what other people want to do because you don't want to say that you don't want to do that or you don't want to bring up your own thing. You just want to do what they want to do because you want them to be happy. You have to learn to kind of not do that all the time at least. I still want to be there for other people, but because I have done this so heavily for so long, I really am cutting it off. I really am. As I'm starting a new cycle in my life, I really am learning that I can't please everyone, and I shouldn't want to please everyone. I shouldn't be looking to seek that validation in myself through other people and through making other people feel good. I should nourish myself first. I should understand myself first. I should understand my wants and my needs first and then I can offer that to others. You cannot fill from an empty cup. You cannot fill from an empty cup. So I'm learning to fill mines up right now. That didn't sound grammatically correct but that's okay. I'm learning to fill mine up now and there are people who are, there are multiple people actually, who aren't happy with me, who are upset with me, who don't understand what I'm doing and I don't need them to understand. I have to understand what I'm doing. I'm the only person that needs to understand what I'm doing because this is my path I'm living on. I can't keep living like I'm jumping onto other people's paths. I have to stay on my own and people might join alongside me for a certain amounts of time and then they go back on their own. I have to stay on mine. I can't keep going back to other people's paths. I can't keep living for other people or trying to make other people happy or trying to please everybody and changing the things that I really want to do in this life because of other people. Because I'm tired of putting my dreams and my thoughts away, my feelings away, to make space for others if they're not making that space for me to do it on my own. So really my main message for you guys um, who might resonate with this is like, you really can't. You can't please everyone. And that shouldn't be the goal. I ask that if you do feel this way, you feel like you constantly are just trying to make other people happy, you feel like people won't want to be your friend if you don't do certain things, then that's okay. You're going to lose some people. You're going to lose some people. And that's supposed to happen. The people who are meant to be on your next stage in your life will come on to the stage when it's time for their part in your play. Those people will arrive when they're meant to. It should never be something where you have to remove yourself from the equation and live in someone else's shoes. You should be able to stand next to them and support them on their journey, and they should just be able to support you on theirs. If you feel like any part of yourself has to hide or be put away, you have to remove some source of happiness from yourself to do that, then it's, it might be time to cut ties. Um, I will be making a video about that as well, but really, my main message is you can't please everybody. You can't. And I'm still telling myself that now because it's still something I'm going to be working on. But the main thing that I'm choosing to do now is really to not feed into the energy from those people who, who I've tried to let know what I'm doing or what's going on. I have to end it there. I can't feed into it at all. There's no more feeding that. I cannot feed it anymore. It has to feed itself and I have to feed myself. Thank you guys for listening. I hope if you feel that you are constantly trying to please others out of fear or want lack of, you know, friends, um, if for any reason, that you take some time to think about the people who should and shouldn't be on your path for your next part in your journey. Thank you for listening. I'll stop ranting now. Peace and love, guys.